Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with niche builds, reduced hit points, reduced selection of items, reduced classes and improved um, selection of enemies via the A Better Advent mod. Today it's time uh, to rescue a few agents, an engineer, a ranger and a lot of intel are on the line and it is potentially an easier mission which i really appreciate because it'll give us a a time to breathe with the a team and b an option to just go in with those who need some more experience so zukuger could be one of uh, those we do have toxic both of them subbed in for the main team quite a while ago we do have, uh, no longer have Jeranks, uh, so might as well take Zirkim for now. Sane, however, is still available, so we could feed more kills into them. And do we have another option? Hmm. Well, you know what? In that case, which of the classes are missing up here? Got a Grenadier. Another sharpshooter. We got most of them. Let's not go with the Grenadier because they don't have upgraded weapons at the moment. Let's just go with hats. Yes, an upgraded weapon. So, let me equip these fine gentlemen. And there we go. So, we got the lure with us first time that we're going to see that item so cougar is hopefully aggressively going to use that might as well switch it around and give it to hats and so cougar will have the medical duty because hats will be less inclined to hit anything so cougar is the higher level soldier i tend to use utility items more on the guys that are having a hard time to hit because then you do have sensible alternatives when they can't hit the target okay so this is going to be almost a lost only mission potentially together with an uh, with a chosen <clears throat> but the cool part about this is we will be very much able to deal with the loss <clears throat> as they are not very strong Normally, you could also use Revival Protocol just to get that guy up, and you would even have a 7th Soldier, but since we're not playing with really, really good skills, but with the skills that are sort of niche, we don't have that. Good. I've already decided we're going to take... The high ground here. Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get winded. And the first loss already triggering. All right, Sane as the sniper begins to move up. So Cougar joins him. Good copy. Moving on target. The classes that can use the lower level will do so. Very nice. Time to hit that brood right into his face. And I feel light on my let's give all of the experience that we can to the spark. Until it finally gets its promotion. It feels good to move around. Go, go, go. All right. Location confirmed. It would be so fun to see how the lure is actually taking them. Uh, uh, if if the chosen uh, shows up, how the lure is actually um, forcing him to fight against all of the lost. That would be hilarious. I'll comply for now. All 
right. There is the promotion I was looking for, so every further kill is not as good onto the spark. Instead, let's use the cougar here. Even if we trigger a couple more, well, that's fine. Alright, that's 100% kill on most of them because we have an advanced stock. Okay, fantastic. There are still losses up here. And we will get back onto the balcony in a second. Just want to clear those guys out for now okay moving over and eventually moving over a little bit of overwatch and we're good the timer by the way is completely irrelevant I think the idea of having a timer to kind of speed up your progress totally makes sense but since nothing happens it really is not threatening okay zirkim got his promotion as well And since he is okay, out. might as well move him into a decent position. Heads has the lure, and I think Zoo Cougar is going to be the guy who's eventually going to rescue everybody. Now. Overwatch, reload, Overwatch. Nothing to hold back the loss now. Menace one five, get to their position on the double. Tired of waiting round. All right, the swarm will potentially appear next turn, but yet again, that is not much of a problem. Spark can easily move in and out. So I can attack anything that passes by. And we're overwatching. Reload overwatch. Okay, cool. Very good. We expected the swarm to happen. It's dead. It has to be dead. Negative damage. Uh. 
And even more losses. If we had the between the eye mod, the whole thing would be even easier, but I think we're going to be fine, to be entirely honest. Moving in to make room for one more position upstairs, which Zirkim is going to take. And Heads did not have a promotion yet. So let's give him a couple of kills. Fantastic. Back in. Ammo out. Toxic likewise does not have a promotion yet. Let's see. I think we're going to take the high hit point targets first. Enemy eliminated. Target eliminated. Ready to go. Okay, we haven't yet stepped in into that circle here hmm I mean chances are pretty good that we're going to hit uh, something and we do have a backup plan if it doesn't work a spark can still come in I was thinking about going on top of the roof and with that essentially taking a very well defendable position okay we don't need more ammunition because we are simply going to pick up the unit and we're going to get out of here. Not even a chosen to deal with. Without the VIP manning the turret controls, there's nothing keeping the loss from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Alright, let's carry the unit and get out of here. VIP just runs. And we got some Overwatch and some Overwatch and some very much Overwatch. And you would have guessed it, right? Couple of shots. And Overwatch. It seems that this mission does not have a better advent type of um, loss. I was critical so far as in the game just upping the spawn so much that you can't really deal with the losses very well. It still seems to be the case that there are like hundred thousands of losses spawning. But that is normal in that type of mission. So, they seem to have not changed it too much. Oh yeah, our Overwatch trap is always 
is reliable. That is the word I would use. Reliable. You can rely on our soldiers to not hit anything. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. All right, heads here. Still needs some kills. Target disabled. So we're starting with him. Okay, S for the guys on the ground. And the VIP, of course. It's time to simply run. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Couple of kills with a sniper. Might get that uh, promotion going. Without an expanded, uh, advanced expanded magazine, this is really not. The sniper really doesn't have that much going for them. Okay, yeah. And every round we're going to see a new swarm. So theoretically, you can use that mission here to farm, but I don't want to do that. A, it's boring, and B, we had plenty of loss that we were dealing with. Okay, so let's throw that. And make it even worse. I hope they are moving into that area. That's what I was planning for. I know that they are attacking enemies in that area. Good, and we should be... Uh, Good to run away. Just to clean that up and making sure that no one is going to follow us. Rocket launcher, which will trigger eventually even more. <laughs> okay, that didn't. I didn't make it any better. Valiant effort though, Saiken. Valiant effort. I enjoy the rush of air against my senses. Alright, let's try to get the dashers. None of those. Nope, nope. Okay. Russian over there.
Yeah, I think we can get everybody to the evac zone next turn. At the same time, I might need to kill a few of those guys. Well, we're not going to make a dent in the lost, but we also can't just let them move up. That's not going to work. Out? Yeah, we can move go, go, everyone go. out. Good, let's start with the VIP and the freshly secured Ranger. And there we go. The the B team did phenomenal, that was good, an easy mission, just to get the morale up and also help with uh, some of the promotions. So those kind of missions are the ones that the game is throwing you when it feels you need a bit more soldiers. Good, I know we got at least two promotions, right? Yeah. Fantastic. So, are we going to go for Adaptive Aim, which would be the right uh, choice here, or are we going for Bulwark? We're of course going for Bulwark. It's going to be a tank that can't heal itself. So that sucks a bit, but yeah, it is a tank. We're going for Shadow Strike, so two promotions, that's not bad. Specifically having the Spark uh, leveled up. That is good. And we got ourselves not only an <clears throat> engineer, but also a ranger. So, engineer, that is a class that we very much need. Please, sir, thank you for joining. Want to continue the excavation. And we got Iron Lady in a surprisingly revealing outfit. As a ranger. We're going with Phantom and Shadow Strike and Conceal. And that should be a good start. Got that extra high level Ranger besides Quick Feet. So that is good. And Zirkim also up here, up plus Sharang. So our Rangers are German, quite well leveled. Wow, there's another engineer. I can't, I cannot not I take that one. The game is definitely throwing us a bone. Let's purchase. Oh, superior speed is great. And another engine. Oh, wow. I just wanted to get Alien Alloys, to be honest. Are we going to get for go for another engineer? Hmm, let's think that through. That'll be 90 Intel. Is it worth it? We will get two additional engineers and we could still go to North America. You know what, why not? We're going ham. We still have a bit of excavation to go and you gotta see it from the following angle. Those engineers, 
can be essentially converted into power, more con uh, contacts if we need them, uh, faster product, permanently faster production and resistance rings so far, and faster building process as well. So far, we've always been really stingy with the engineers and just wanted to efficiently like expand. But now finally having enough Avenger would be a luxury. Forward. And eight engineers, that's well, definitely a good start. Fantastic. We will get a faction hero that we can't use. Tribe of Fire and Vengeance. Okay. That one is not so good. I don't like Vengeance. But that one, on the other hand, is pretty damn good. Okay, what else can we do? Breakthrough research. Excavation. Ah, oh, that's nice, but... Another engineer. That's actually not bad, having yet another engineer. We could also go and just start uh, revealing the stronghold further. Aim plus two isn't that great. I think we're going for health mostly. Ability points are okay. Nothing that directly kind of jumps out. Of course, ability points and health are nice. But so is mobility, right? So let's... Use some of the lower level operatives. And who gets the plus one mobility? I mean, we could use, uh, give it to Wurtz. Why not? Why, like, why not? It, the mobility isn't bad. It'll just give us some more movement, and Wurtz could use that. I'm more up for the Engineer, to be honest. And soon the A-Team is ready again, so maybe we'll just give it to... Zirkim over here, or Zuhuger. Hmm. You know what? We can also give it to Iron Lady. It, this would essentially be wasted, but the the game asks me, do you want an engineer for just freezing uh, freezing the covert actions for 11 days? And the answer is potentially yes, so we'll just put two soldiers in there that do not matter at the moment. Alright, wait a second, we just, I think, created ammunition. Got enough cores here, so... Could go for another grenade, uh, or even more ammunition. I think we're going to go for one grenade. And what's the ammunition... What's the ammunition that we've gotten? What? Was it unsuccessful? Wait, what? All right, let's try ammunition again. Holy shit, don't tell me that we just wasted eight days of production to not get ammunition out of it. our results have exceeded expectations. And those are good, all of them. I think we're going to go for a couple more autopsies. 
purifier here could be good for the hazmas vest carefully. so let's start with that apparently my predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects and in terms of the other weapons i think we're going to go for the frost bomb as well because we do have a lack of utility items and that would fix it right away the axe is a fantastic item as well uh, so is the shadow keeper but we wanted to have a few different options this time and i feel the bolt caster kind of falls right into the mix of what that run should be about so frost bomb and bolt caster first and then experimental ammunition well, sounds like a good plan All right. We got another engineer. That's what I'm talking about. We should do what we can to take them down before they hit again. Starting that next excavation. Yes, please. And we'll even get yet another engineer, which would be very, very good. Then we got nine engineers. Also starting to make contact, I want technical analysis, which is the Northern American uh, bonus. And that will make the fights substantially easier if we're just uh, running into a, an enemy pack here and there. All right, 90 Intel, that is a great reward. I'm almost inclined to take it. Or a lieutenant sharpshooter. Hmm. No, you know what? I think we're going to go for 90 Intel. We even get concealment. Which is nice because that will help us against um, not being concealed. The dark event that is happening so yeah let's try to do operation smoking knife shall we and we also got some alloys so before i forget it because that was the Just original intent for purchasing alloys let's upgrade a couple of weapons shall we definitely going to go with uh, the heavier weapons that would be an option That could also be an option. But I think we're going to go with the Helix Cannon. All right, and that also de uh, de uh, depleted all of our alloys. Could have done it earlier because then the game would have maybe offered us alloys. But yeah, if you're now looking into uh, into that My spark here we could become a race of cowering tech subjects for the aliens to toy with we could we put an advanced uh, an expanded magazine up here or an advanced outloader which is potentially the better choice so advanced scope advanced outloader which means the mag at least for the first couple of rounds will have enough firepower and the weapon itself does like six to eight points of damage. That's shotgun uh, level of damage. Get some free reloads. We also get extra aim. So that is good. We potentially need an upgrade of the spark armor. But yeah, that, that will require more resources. We will get there eventually. And the spark will become an integral uh, part. I might even build a second one, but for now... Let's just stick with the logic that I, I should have gone uh, for those extra weapons much earlier uh, just to, to use some of them. It is in the spirit of the run. I just didn't think about them beforehand. But yeah, a few, a few items uh, that might be interesting are other grenade types, other ammunition types, 
The Hunter X you've seen plenty of times, so yes, we will eventually build it because it's not on the banned list, but I wouldn't immediately go for it. I much rather like to use the bolt caster and try to make that work. It's not a good weapon, but we might be able to make it work. Th there was a there was a um, I've, I've mentioned it in an older video. There was uh, back in the days of vanilla um, alien uh, rulers expansion. You could switch between the weapons and eventually get into the upgrade uh, section of the bolt caster, which was just blocked, but it had as many upgrade slots as the normal weapons and you could at that point put an, um, an a superior expanded magazine in there as well as an autoloader and and um, or a superior expanded magazine a, hair, a superior hair tr a trigger and a superior um, scope and all of a sudden the bolt caster was just um, almost like the chosen uh, assault rifle because it had four shots if you uh, if you dare to put uh, even more reloads on it uh, you could continue and the only real disadvantage of it just having one shot was completely eliminated it still kind of nailed uh, the targets and i dis distinctly remember uh, having a specialist in one of my runs back then when i was streaming and that guy was having death from above that weapon the autoloader um, and the superior uh, these uh, the superior magazine as well as a scope and it was nuts like he was nailing uh, the enemies left and right left and right and it was almost having uh, serial i think he had like kill zone on top of it so uh, you even had like four shots with that thing um, as an overwatch, uh, overwatch action, uh, including Guardian. So hardcore build. Nowadays, it doesn't work like that. Uh, but I would personally recommend in order to make that unique weapon, which, mind you, is also very much lost uh, when, you, uh, when you are dying, to make that more useful either start giving it more ammunition as it goes up or at least allow for one or two uh, weapon mods to be added to it i think it actually made the weapon uh, much more fun and usable but that's just my opinion anyways guys um, thank you for watching and thank you for um, always leaving comments and likes down below that helps a lot and see you in the next run bye bye